why they call it a big bang. Yeah. Well, that actually began as a derogatory term. I think you can correct me, I think it was Fred Hoyle, yes. uh, who did not believe in this way of thinking about things, was in a radio interview, and he said, oh, those guys are talking about the Big Bang. You know, so it was that kind of a, a name oh. that he gave to it. Um, and the idea simply is, if you imagine something small and getting bigger, and you try to relate it to things that you see in the world around you, when things explode, they get bigger. So it's as if there's a cosmic explosion. Now, that way of thinking about things is really awkward, because that almost makes it sound as though there was a surrounding universe yeah. within which this Big Bang took place. And that's not typically how we think about it, although when we start the multiverse, it begins to become a little bit more, more vague. But the, forgetting about the multiverse for a second, just starting simple, the traditional Big Bang theory envisions that everything is in this tiny nugget that you begin with. There is no external space. And as it grows, it creates the space all around us. And because space and time, says Einstein, are the same thing, if I ask you, as many people would be, what happened just before the Big Bang? <laughs> How do you answer that question? Well, it, it's, it's, there, there are many questions in cosmology that are very awkward, uh, and that certainly is one of them, and there's no universal answer to that question. When you get to the multiverse picture, the answer shifts, but yeah. let's again start simple. In the traditional Big Bang, one way of thinking about it is there is no time before the Big Bang because time and space come into existence with that event. It's as if I said to you, where, how do you go further north than the North Pole? It how doesn't have any meaning, right? North yeah. is defined that's the end and, of and that's where it yeah. starts. So, you know, it's, if you say, how do you go before the Big Bang, I'd say it has no meaning. Now, there are other approaches, and we'll discuss them here tonight, where the Big Bang is an interesting event, but it's not the creation event. Okay. And there can be, in a sense, events that take place before it. So do you all sort of just, uh, you all would rather look past the what happened before question and just move on? Is that, because uh... <laughs> I know, by the way, there's a Calvin and Hobbes that's very cool about this. That, uh, the boy says to his tiger, why did they come up with that name? Do we have that, do we have the? Yeah. <laughs> you look over here in this panel here, there's the alternate name, I think, the, the horrendous space kablooey, or the, it, it just might be a better, but uh, I, I will move on for, for the tiger. 